Good day and welcome to your catch-up video lessons with me, Mr. Sumandi. This week, we will embark to new grammar lessons which will hopefully help us apply verb models in English sentences. Our objective for this lesson is to rephrase statements with context that tells ability, possibility, permissibility, necessity, and obligation by using appropriate verb models. With that being said, I will discuss the models must, may, might, and their context in your English sentences. Modern English grammar dictates a number of verb models, but we will only tackle the most common and basic models in this week's lesson. These models are can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, might, and must. And for this video, the models must, may, and might will be emphasized. The verb model must refers to your obligation or actions you need to do. If you don't use the verb model must, your sentences may look like these with noun, adverb, and adjective models. Let's read the examples. It is the teacher's obligation to assist students experiencing difficulties during online class. Teachers are obligated to assist students experiencing difficulties during online class. Teachers obligately assist students experiencing difficulties during online class. To make these sentences short and concise, we use the verb model must. Hence, we say, teachers must assist students experiencing difficulties during online class. The negative word for must is must not. Since we talked about should and its context as advice, there are a few verb models that show level of necessity or urgency as you use them in your English sentences. Level of necessity means how urgent or important is the action to be done. Let's take a look at these four sentences. Let's see how urgent these actions based on their context. By putting the burn emoji, I will show you how important the action is in the context of these sentences. Let's have the first statement. You should give presents to her because she's nice to you. Should is only advice, which will depend on you whether you do it or not. There's no strong urgency in the context of this statement. Number two. You must give presents to her because it's her birthday. Must is an obligation, which means you need to do certain action because it is needed. This one has level 1 burn urgency for me. Let's have number 3. You have to give presents to her because she gave you presents. Have to is stronger than must. It gives you no choice but to do the action. So for me, this has to burn level of urgency. Let's have the last statement. You had better give presents to her or else she'll break up with you. Had better is the strongest among these verb models because there are circumstances involved. This has three burn level of urgency. So when I say you had better study, I mean it. Another context of the verb model must is giving assumption or logical conclusion. Must be plus verb ing or adjective gives a context of assumption. You assume something based on logical observations. Let's say, for example, your classmate Jerry sleeps in his class, but you know that he has part-time job to support his finances in college. So we can safely assume that Jerry must be working late at night 
or Jerry must be tired because of his part-time job. That's why he sleeps in the class. Moving on, we have the verb model may, which also shows possibility of actions to happen in the future. However, unlike will, may has less possibility of the action to happen in the future. Same with will and may, verb model might also gives your English statements the context of possibility. However, it has the least possibility for actions to happen in the future. Comparing the three models, will, may, might, let's check these four statements, how sure actions can happen in the future. Let's read the first statement. Students are submitting their academic work not later this afternoon. Verb to be plus verb ing has the context of actions guaranteed to happen in the future. So this statement has 100% possibility because it is already planned. Number two, students will submit their academic work not later this afternoon. Will has only possibility to happen if the person has the intention to do it. So most likely it has 50% to 75% possibility of this action to happen in the future. Number three, students may submit their academic work not later this afternoon. May has lesser possibility to happen, around 20% to 40% chance of happening. Let's have number four. Students might submit their academic work not later this afternoon. Might has the least possibility to happen. It may happen by coincidence or won't happen at all. Aside from possibility, verb model may is also used for asking permission. We often say, may I, when asking permission, or you may, if you permit someone to do something. Rarely we ask, may you, and rarely we say, I may. All right, it's time to squeeze your brain juice and reinforce what you learn. Let's rephrase the sentences by changing the red words with proper verb models among must, may, and might to make the statement short and concise. Let's have the first statement. You are obligated to wash the dishes because no one else will do that. The verb model that we can use for this statement is the model must because it's an obligation. You must wash the dishes because no one else will do that. Let's have the next statement. Face-to-face -face classes are possible to resume in less affected areas in the nation. Since we are talking possibilities, we can use both may and might for this statement, depending on how sure we are for that action to happen in the future. So we can say face-to-face -face classes may resume in less affected areas in the nation, or face-to-face -face classes might resume in less affected areas in the nation. Let's now proceed to the next statement. Am I permitted to sit on this vacant chair? For this question, we are asking for permission. So we can use the verb model may. May I sit on this vacant chair? Let's now proceed to the next statement. He is perhaps tired because of the long road trip.
since the statement shows assumption or logical conclusion, we can use the verb model must for this statement. He must be tired because of the long road trip. So remember these takeaways. Must is used for obligations you need to do. Must be is an assumption. May shows less possibility to happen. May is also permission. Might shows least possibility for actions to happen. And that will be all for now. Click the next video for the other lessons related to models.